Okay guys, so I have this frame I got from the thrift store and I like the style of the frame, but I don't necessarily like the art that's in it. So I'm gonna take this, actually this bag that I got from the Leapers Fork Distillery in Leapers Fork, Tennessee. And I'm gonna add it to this frame. I'm gonna glue it down. I've got my Mod Podge and I am adding a thin layer, a thin coat. I'm trying to be as even as possible I find the less Mod Podge that I use, the less wrinkles I end up with. So that's a little tip for you when you're using Mod Podge is don't use a ton of it because it'll take forever to dry and everything will wrinkle. So you're gonna take your piece and you're gonna glue it down. And I just like to press it down around the edges and then <clears throat> it's starting to curl up a bit. So I'm going around the edges with the Mod Podge, but I'm, again, I'm not, go, I'm not using a ton and I'm trying not to go over the design too much. I didn't want that ink to bleed, so I was afraid that might happen. And again, trying to get rid of those wrinkles. They will go away. They won't all go away, but <laughs> now it's time to paint. So I've got my home decor chalk paint in the color Sandstorm, and I'm gonna use this on the edges. And I really want it to be like a, like a blended from the bag into this paint into the frame. So I did not tape off the edges of the frame. I'm just trying to be careful, but I'm definitely getting paint on the frame. So you'll see me get paint on the frame. I'm just using my fingers to clean it up. I don't feel like it's gonna make or break the piece. Again, you, you pay attention to the details, not perfect. That's what I always tell you guys and that's what I'm doing here is I'm adding the paint and just trying to be real careful around these edges, but not a ton of paint and just blending it through. So next, I'm actually gonna take this paint and you'll see that I start to remove it. Um, I'm gonna start pulling some of the paint off with my finger and thinning it out. I felt like the paint was too gloppy on here so I started blending it so it would just look like more of a natural transition from the bag to the paint and you guys can see um, what I have here and you can see a lot of the wrinkles have gone away so that's what I have cleaning it up again now it's time to add a trim around the edge I made this using some drop cloth and I'm going to glue it around the edges all four sides so it's just a little piece of drop cloth that I stitched together with a raw edge. I thought it was kind of fun, a little country. So, and as you can see here at the corners, I am angling them. So I'm just taking my glue and running it at an angle and folding at those corners. I just think that's a neater look. I don't really like rounded corners on frames. I feel like that that's a cheap way to do it. So I always angle and it's pretty simple. You just run your glue along like you see I'm doing here and you're going to run another piece at that corner. You'll see me do it again and fold it at an angle. So on the last edge, I always go a little longer than needed on my trim. You never know how much you're gonna need so I always like to err on the side of caution. So this piece will be a little bit long. I'm gonna come in and trim off my edge and I'm still gonna do that angled corner. So I'm gonna glue it down and I'm gonna fold it under at an angle to finish it off and make it look perfect. So that's what I have guys, clean up the edges here. Next, we are going to embellish this baby. So I've got some florals from my stash, just some little pieces of stems. And I always like to take a few different styles and combine them and what I was trying to do here was stick that, that single stem through the middle of that. It wasn't quite working, so I had to trim it down a little bit. I eventually got there. <laughs> Y'all can see me struggling with it, but just keep going, you know. You figure it out. You guys get to see the fails and the successes. So I've got everything laid here together. And I'm going to put it in the corner. So I've got my glue gun. Put a little bit of glue down. Use finger protectors. Don't be like me. <laughs> and you're gonna take this here and I thought I needed a little something else so I thought I'd add a little piece of ribbon folded at an angle in a neutral color so I've got that hanging out down there and I'm gonna glue that down just kind of try to spread out my floral and make it look nice 
and press that down so the glue sticks. I've also got a pretty little flower embellishment that I'm gonna add as well, trying to add the, trying to hide the edges of those stems. So that's what I have there. And again, I'm just trying to press it down because I didn't want to use a ton of glue. So that's where we ended up. I think it looks so good. And I'm gonna show you guys how I have it styled. I just have it on a shelf right now. You could hang it on a wall, you could lean it on a shelf. I do love the little flare of that embellishment. And think outside of the box on this. You could use a postcard, anything that reminds you of a trip and just have have fun with it. Otherwise, you know, this, this would have been thrown away. It's a little piece of trash. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with it. Be creative. And thank you so much for watching.